So how are you guys doing today? This is one of my favorite instruments. This one was built in 1959. And as you can see, it almost looks brand new. All I had to do was change a few capacitors and resistors and uh, change that to rotten leather handle. You have to have one of these if you wanna maintain tube amps with all the capacitors. This is the only way you can test a capacitor to its full voltage. This will go all the way up to 600 volts. And they don't make these anymore because they, safety reasons, they are afraid that people won't be uh, able to operate them without electrocuting themselves, I take it. But you know, there's not a, a big uh, demand for s instruments like this, but they are pretty fascinating. And they started making these in 1940. The T01, then they went to the T016, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And I think the T06A was the last one made in 1970, 71. But I dated this one at 1959. Somebody asked me to demo turns ratio. And I, in the past, I didn't have a transformer to uh, experiment with. So I have this one from Argentina. That's why it's in Spanish. But normally, you wouldn't need to know the turns ratio because it's already given to you when you buy a transformer and uh, you can easily calculate it. See the 120 volts? All right, this transformer is a Spanish transformer. You can see Entrada, that's the, the entering voltage into the primary coil, which are the uh, brown, it says Mar and Negro, which is brown and black. That's the where the 120 volt comes into the brown, brown and black. And then the uh, salida, which is amarillo, yellow wires, are where the 18 volts come out. The primary coil will have the largest number of turns since it's a step-down transformer. You can check it with your meter as far as impedance goes, and it'll have the higher impedance. But there you go. That's how you hook it up. You got a common wire here on the K post. And that's it. Let's check the impedance real quick. Got a meter hooked up here. Okay. Should be the output, so it'll have the lower impedance, which is, I think, around 12 ohms. The primary coil with the more turns is uh, 1.16k ohms. So that's another way you can figure out which is the uh, primary and secondary on a step-down transformer. Step-up transformers are the opposite. And these are the best instruments for measuring capacitance and leakage mainly. They're not, they might not be so accurate on capacitance, but for leakage, they're uh, indispensable. I'll, I'll go through the instructions here. You can, as you can see, it says to place the switch four to the turns ratio position. So that's over here, I've already done it. Then it says to press the proper button. Since I already know the uh, turns ratio on this, like I said, all you have to do is divide 120 by 18 and you get 6.6, like somewhere around there, between uh, one and 10. So we'll push button A, which is right up here. And you can see it says N1. So we'll turn that on. We haven't turned it on yet. Then once you do that, you turn it on. Set the on-off switch to on. So we'll, we'll let it warm up for a... You can hear it hum a little bit. Now it's got the magic eye, which should light up as it warms up here. We'll see. You'll see it glow green. There it goes. And I always wanted to see if it works, so I, I thought, well, let me demo this for this person who asked me. And uh, like I said, you don't really need it with new transformers, but if you have a whole box full of old transformers that aren't labeled, you might want this. So you can uh, identify how many turns ratio it are, so you can figure out what the voltage drop or voltage boost is going to be with any particular transformer. But as you can see, connect transformer to the measured, to be measured to the J, K, and L binding post. The winding must be 
The windings must be connected in series with the common connection going to the post K. Connect the winding with the largest number of turns to post J and K. Now we're going to rotate the dial, the magic eye, and if the balance is not obtained, reverse the leads of one of the coils and again rotate. Now I had to do that. So at first I was rotating it and I was getting no reading at all. And then, so I, you can reverse either the black and brown or the yellow. Doesn't matter, just reverse one if it doesn't work. So you can see we've got the N1 and N2. We're on N1, so that bottom ring there is the number that we're looking at. And so you just turn it, see I'm at one turns ratio, 1.2 turns ratio. 1.4 turns ratio, 1.6. The eye is going to open up around 6, so the closer see the eye is doing nothing right now. As I rotate, oh, there it goes. You see it? And you just get it to the max opening, and that's the reading. So you can see that it's it's between five and 10. They don't seem to be too concerned about accuracy on this scale, but it's probably 6.6, .6, so it's pretty accurate. And you get a, a ballpark number, so that's it. I hope you uh, got something out of this. Like I said, not too many people have these and not too many people would need to use this function. But the TO5, out of all the telemics was the only one that had the turns ratio function and a lot of people like to get by that one because of that function and like I said I'll show you the ad from 1958 that is pretty interesting because even in 1958 these things cost $83 which I was shocked I said that had to be a lot of money in 1958 so not a lot of people had these but I have a couple of announcements. Uh, I said I, I've been working on uh, Earth Blues, and I've just been lazy and haven't wanted to film it yet because it's quite a bit of work, editing and everything. And also on Tuesday, I've got all the parts coming in for the left-handed strap parts caster from Warmoth for Nico. So you, a lot of you might not know Nico, but he's in Argentina. He's building a parts caster and we're going to open that box up and look at the parts. It's a vintage colored white left-handed body. It took almost 16 weeks, I think, to get those ready. So we'll have everything together to send to Argentina so Nico can finally put his guitar together. We're still waiting on the pickups to come from Rumpelstiltskin, the gypsies. We'll go through those parts a little bit. So those are my next two videos, but it'll probably be the parts on Tuesday before I, I finish uh, Earth Blues. Talk to you guys later.